Today I'm working on another e-bike project. In this project, I'm going to try and use my power tool battery to power this electric bike. This electric bike is made by Wave. It's a rear hub motor, 48 volt e-bike. The problem is it has a broken battery. The battery was left in the rain and water got in and damaged the battery pack. And check this out. There are lots of corrosions from water damage. And the controller is also damaged. I tried to hook it up to my power supply but it's dead, it doesn't take a charge anymore. Anyway, so this battery is not salvageable anymore. I need to find a different way to power the e-bike with another battery. I can either build a new battery pack from scratch or I can use my power tool batteries. If you follow my channel, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So these are 24 volt cobalt power tool batteries. I'm going to put them in series to produce 48 volt. Each of these have six cells in series. So two of these will produce a 12S battery pack or 12 cells in series. Ideally, a 48 volt battery pack should be between 13S and 15S, but 12S should still work fine. I've used this battery pack a lot with my other electric bike, electric scooter, and even my electric uh, Razor go-kart. The only problem with a 12S battery pack on a 48 volt system is that it will give you less speed, but going slow has its own advantage. So over here we got a 48 volt e-bike controller. It's got a very strange connector here. Usually this connector is for AC, 110 volts AC connector. And uh, if somebody mess this up, it's gonna be really bad. I don't know why they're using a connector like this. So this will go to the battery pack right here. You can see it's very easy to mess up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this connector and install an XT60 connector. Because I use XT60 for my adapters here. So these adapters will go onto the battery. And then this is going to go onto the controller after I solder a new XT60 on this controller. Alright, I think I'm done here. Let me show you what I got. So I saw the XT60 connector on the controller and then over here we got the series connection with the two batteries here and we'll go to my controller and the two batteries are secure by a bungee cord and I thread it through a belt clip here on the uh, battery connector so it's, it's pretty secure, it's not gonna go anywhere and if I need to charge my battery all I have to do is to remove it and then I can throw it in the charger and charge it. When I'm done, just put it right back in. That's it. And then secure this back to the bungee cord. And I am done. Just like that. And on the back of the adapter here, I've got a couple of USB ports so I can plug my phone in and charge my phone if I need to. Alright, so now let's try and turn it on. Give it a try. It's on. We've got two bars here. So I rode the bike a little bit earlier, but when I first put in the batteries, uh, I've got four bars. But now I only got two after just about, let's say half a mile uh, ride with the bike. And that is because uh, the battery pack is actually a 12S and not 14 or 15S. So you see this bar goes down quickly. But after it goes to, I'd say 50%, it will remain stable for a while. So let's try and see if it works. We got a thumb throttle here. Very nice, very quiet. Right. It's pretty cool. Right, so let's take it out for a spin. It's getting dark right now, so I think I'm gonna 
use the night vision option on my camera 